Okay, so let's look at the um, Grata Sonora harp bowl. Basically, it's not a gong, it's a bowl. You can't play it as a gong, you can't hang it up. It's meant to be played as a, as a harp along the strings and you can spin it while you're playing it. So if it's on a wooden floor, you can turn it. So the essence of this is that it has 16 strings. All right. Of the 16 strings, we've got um, four of the strings in the middle, the four main strings, which use a thicker string, which is the brass color, are tuned like an Indian tampura. Now, uh, the main difference between the four strings on the center and the six other strings. So you have six strings on the outside, which use these little smaller um, silver uh, wires, is that each silver wire has a bridge that just sits underneath the wire, creating a bridge for the string. So the first six, one, two, three, four, five, six, use a bridge on both sides of the bowl. And the four center ones do not use um, a bridge. This is the bridge. It's a little, just a little, in your case, it could be a little copper or a little brass colored bridge. Um, so let's put one string on. And basically it's very easy. You see the tuning. Um, I reckon the nicer tuning is the, the top tuning. So you would use the tempura is the first four is the first four strings, but let's start off with, uh, let's say uh, the fourth. Let's have a look here. Okay, just undo one of these. So you see, there's quite a lot of strings here. I'm just doing a video. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the first thing I do is there's a little, like a little nut on the one side of the string. You feed the end through one, two, three, four, five, six. In this case, I'm just feeding it through the six hole. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put it through. Put it through. Make sure. Uh, I don't know if we can see it on the side here. Make sure that this little little lug or this little nut is hard up against the, the bowl. Now, basically what I do is you're going to... Let's have a look here. You, you, when you tighten the string, you want it to be down flush against the peg. So I basically leave a little bit slack. I hold the string down and then I start to turn. So I'm holding the string down there. The reason I want to do that is I want this string, I want the string to come as close to the bottom the silver strings need to come straight as close to the bottom as possible. So I'm going to hold them both down there. Okay, and we start to. So I've got a little, little trick here. A little guitar. So now I'm winding the string so it's as close to the bottom as possible. Not, not as close, 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 but there we go. So I've got a little bit sticking out. So there we are. You can see it's quite close and I keep pushing it down. So you can hear now I'll just tighten my finger. No good. Now I'll take these little, little lugs and I slip it underneath. This needs to be loosened just a little bit more. 
What happens when you tighten, when the lugs are in, it actually pulls them tied up, so you don't have to worry. So this one's gonna go underneath there. There. And this one's gonna come underneath here. See how I've just pushed them there? Now, as I tighten, it actually pulls these both down. Push that string down. There we go. So that obviously is not tuned. It's going to have to be tuned to A4, which you would use your phone. I can't use my phone. I have a tuner on my phone. But let's do another one. I'll show you again. Take the string. You see, you can see it in the. Yeah. Feed the string through the hole. This is number five. Doesn't matter because all the strings are the same. And then feed it through the hole. My eyes are terrible, I can't see. Right. Okay, so I leave a bit of slack, I'm quite a bit actually. And then I push both of the strings down. And then I use my tuner, my, my little guitar winder. It's easier, you can do it by finger. And you start turning, 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 turning. And it should start getting the slack. Right, you want to get to this this point here. You can see it's all nice and tight. I get my little lug again. I put one lug underneath there. We call it a bridge. And I put another bridge under here. Okay. I'm not going to tune them yet because what happens as you start tuning the the um the harp bowl it starts tensioning the bowl and all the strings go out of tune so it's only once you've got all the strings on you you do a tune and then what will happen as well is that it will keep going out of tune as you start so you've got to keep going over and over again it takes about five or six goes and then it just settles and then you don't have to tune again for a few days let's just have a look at the the bigger wires so the bigger wires, as I mentioned, I'll go on the fourth, on the four middle ones. So I'm going to take again. So remember what I said, the four, the, the brass ones, do not use the lug. So with the brass ones, you want the, you want actually, you do not want the, the, the top of the cable, the wire, hitting the bowl because you want it actually to do this. Indian tempura resonance. So I'm going to do bring this in right there, and then I want it to st sit about a few. I don't know. We we do millimeters here. Our, our mine is about five mil off the top. So I'm going to do this. There we are. I'm, I'm using my finger just to keep it. So there we are, that's totally out of tune. But that gives you an idea that you've got to have these these right these strings right down 
so that it holds the bridge. So you're creating a bridge on these little lugs. I could get a little bit closer here, I think. So I'm gonna push this down. And get this one here. I'll push it down. I'm gonna loosen this one a little bit. And push that, push that wire down, tighten. Aha, that's better. And then get this lug, aha, that feels better. Aha, now it's on there, let's feel here. Yeah, that's good. The ones at the, where the holes are easy because it, it just pulls down, but these ones, you gotta really make sure you get that wire as close to the bottom. There we go, one more. Let's do one again. Coming through the hole down there. Pushing the lug up there. String through the hole. Pull it all the way through. Slack it off a bit. Put the string at the bottom. I use this guitar. You know, keeping the string all the way at the bottom. There we go. Push, push, push. Keep the string nice and... Get two more lugs. Yeah, the bridge. One goes under here. Ah, sometimes you get pricked with these wires. Not cool. Ah. They're quite sharp. And then, it's like you don't bleed to death. Put the lug underneath there, the bridge. Push the wires down. There we go. Now once you've done that, I reckon wrap that a few times and just snip it off with the pliers. You just snip them off but be careful you don't cut it too close because they'll they'll come out so uh, you can wrap them as much as you want and then snip them off or snip them off to the bottom but it's as simple as that you just want to get the silver ones as down as close as possible and the gold ones I've got about five millimeter uh, wait five millimeter an eighth of an inch a bit more an eighth of an inch is three mil, so I've got mine about just over an eighth of the inch, just sitting above, so you can get that. Because this string is gonna sympathize with the next one, so they create a little bit of a, a tone together. And then obviously you can play the strings with your fingers, or, or a little stick, and then you spin the bowl and you play. So we'll do more about that later. If you've got any questions, let me know.